Welcome back to another video if you're new to the channel. I am Rio. Today's video, as you can see, is going to be my footwear pickups. Now, I have about nine pairs, I believe, of footwear, <laughs> ranging from sneakers, pair of boots, and some loafers. All these have been picked up somewhere in the past two months. So um, I did more damage than I usually do with a footwear in such a short time frame. But nonetheless, I want to go through and show you all of the pairs that I picked up one by one. So let's hop into it. First, we're going to get started with a pair of boots. Now, if you guys saw my boot collection video, which I did probably several months ago at this point, I think I did it last fall, last winter. But in that video, I talked about wingtip boots and wanting to get more wingtip boots. And a lot of you commented, suggesting that I look into Allen Edmonds. For whatever reason, I don't know why I just didn't think about <laughs> looking towards Allen Edmonds for boots because I already have Allen Edmonds footwear. I've owned Allen Edmonds boots in the past, but never their wingtip boots, in particular the Dalton boot. So that's what I went ahead and did. I picked up a pair of the Dalton boots in Oxblood. The Oxblood is going to be the burgundy color that Alan Edmonds makes. I definitely love the colorway and I wanted to grab these in particular, one because I love the color and I love the style. Wingtip are some of my favorites, shoes and boots. If you guys know that if you saw the um, boot collection video. I like the fact that they are more of a casual dress boot opposed to a dress casual boot if that makes sense with the rounded toe not as pointy they're not a super shiny finish i do still plan to get something that's more dressy black dressy uh wingtip boots but this was still something that i wanted to grab and of course didn't own so i got it for that reason i was lucky enough to get these on sale so i paid half of the retail value retail are 400 so i paid 200 not a bad deal if i'm gonna say so next up we have a pair of loafers and these are going to be the bass region loafers iconic timeless classic i love the color blocking uh with the black and white i don't own anything like this and as a matter of fact i haven't had leather loafers classic leather loafers like this in quite a while most of the loafers that I've been purchasing have been more of a suede, casual, and of course these are casual, but more suede loafers. I wanted to just get something that was as unique as this, timeless as this, and I went ahead and grabbed these about a month or so ago. I wore these in my spring look book, which is gonna be coming up very, very soon. Love the look of these. I've always wanted shoes like this, and I went ahead and grabbed them. We have the Reebok Club C85 Vintage. I tried to get these sometime last year, and they were sold out everywhere. And I believe they just recently restocked them, at least sometime in the past month or so, a couple months. These are the classic Reeboks, as most of you would know. And I just love the vintage look to them. They're done in a cream base, which I think just looks super dope. These were also worn in my spring lookbook, a pair that I feel like I can own for a very long time because sneakers like this, they just don't go out of style, at least in my opinion. If any of these are available that you can shop, I will try to link them down below. If not, of course, I will link some resale places that you can grab them if you want to. The next four sneakers will be the hype sneakers, I guess. Uh, sneakers that you have to pay resale for, unfortunately. I paid resale for all four of the next pair of shoes. I'm not happy about it, but that's just, that's just where we are with, with, with footwear. Well, not footwear, sneakers. That's where we are with sneakers in general. If you're not able to get it when it releases, you gotta pay resale. And I have to pay resale for shoes that I want more times than I don't, which sucks, but that is what it is. Here we have the Blush 500s, which of course are the Yeezys. Some time ago, I talked about grabbing the Utility Black 500s. I mentioned that I really only cared to have the Blush 500s, the black pair and then the blush pair. Although I do have the salts, but I'm selling those. Those are on my website, ironbriop.com slash shop my closet. I have tons of footwear pieces and options on there. Check those out. Some Jordans, Yeezys, a whole bunch of stuff that I just knew I wouldn't wear anymore. But I have the salts for sale because I really mainly cared about these and I was able to get the salts retail, but I wanted these more. These happened to restock recently. And of course I, I struck out, I wasn't able to get them. When they restocked, that of course dropped the resale value. So I was able to get these, I think I paid like 80, somewhere between 80 to 100 more than, than retail. And that's usually like, that's my limit there. I'm not going over that. It does not that it's serious for me. The only other color I really cared about except for the black pair and now I have them. So 
happy about it. Just like the 500s, these just restocked, which is the 350B2 Zebras, another pair that I wanted for a very, very long time. Seems like with 350s though, especially the V2s, of course, they're not as um, trendy as they once were, like what, 2017, 2018, when they first came out. Nonetheless, the resale on these was still extremely high and I wanted them since then. And this is only my second pair of 350B2s. I have the Zions from about a year and a half ago. I always wanted the Zebras. Resale was way too high. I just love the zebra look. I love that side panel there, which I don't know what you call it, inner part of it. I think it looked pretty cool on feet. They're not super, super trendy no more, but I don't really care about the trendiness of it. If I like something, I like something. It doesn't really have to be popular. And that's one of those things that I just like it. Don't really care if it's popular or not. And I grab them for that reason. And now for the hype sneaker model right now, which has probably been the hype sneaker model for like the past year and a half, if not two years, which, is the Nike Dunk. So I grabbed a couple pair of Nike Dunk Lows. The first pair is going to be the Georgetown Nike Dunk Low. When I first saw this colorway towards the end of last year, I think it was like somewhere around fall of 2021, immediately I knew I liked them and wanted them. I just kept seeing them and I was like, I really love that colorway of those sneakers. The navy with the gray, the white midsole, like it's something just does it for me. You know, I can even wear it with what I have on right now. And that's what I like about it. This was the first pair of Nike Dunks that I got. The Georgetown colorway, which I believe they're also called something something else, like championship gray or something like that. I think that might be what they're, uh, what they're called, but I call them Georgetown because that's the easier way to uh, describe them. Anyway, this is the first pair of Dunks. Let's get into the next pair. The next pair of dunks, as you can see, we have the black and white dunks, which have been dubbed the pandas. From what I understand, this is the number one selling sneaker in all of 2021. I cannot fathom how a black and white color shoe is the number one seller for a whole year. I don't even know when the original release date was on these. I feel like they did a restock though sometime in February of this year, if I'm not mistaken, which allowed the resale price to drop which is how I was able to get these. An achromatic sneaker, no color in them, black and white, super simple, super easy to wear. Uh, and you can wear these with a, just a, an array of things. Even like I talked about the gray and the navy pair, I can wear this with what I have on right now. They're just a very simple, easy pair of sneakers to wear. Not too much colors, not too loud, which is gonna work within the what I typically wear already. But anyway, the Nike Dunk Pandas, got them, size 11 like them. And the last pair of sneakers that I grabbed is very true to, you know, what you guys probably know me for, true to what I've worn growing up, the type of sneakers I wore growing up. And of course, we have some Jordans. As you can see, these are the playoff 12s. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you would know that I didn't own any 12s for a very, very, very long time. You know, I used to wear 12s back in the day when I was much younger, but as I've pretty much grown up and gotten older, I felt like they didn't really work within my style and my aesthetic. I think this model of sneaker is more of a bulkier silhouette. And as you guys know, for a while, the majority of us were wearing fitted clothing. These just didn't work in my opinion. They just didn't work at all. As of late, a lot of us, including myself, have been wearing more slimmer pants. Luckily, I was able to get these retail. I got these on sneakers. It's like my first hit in maybe like a two years probably. One of the reasons that I just went after them, and if I didn't get them, I wouldn't, I would, just wouldn't have them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even pay resale to be honest. But one of the reasons that I just wanted to go for them is because they're more of a nostalgic shoe for me. I actually owned these when I was little. And if you saw the spring clothing haul, I picked up a jacket with like the same kind of nostalgic feeling. And I just like having things or owning things now, even if there's something I'm not gonna wear often, I like owning things that just give me that feeling of a certain time or a time period or a time piece in my life. I like the nostalgic feeling of certain things that I knew I had it back in the day and now I have it again. So that's why, you know, I went ahead and grabbed these playoff 12s. Those were the eight footwear pickups that I recently grabbed. Let me know what you guys thought about them. Let me know which pair were your favorite. Comment that down below. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check out some of my other content. You will see some fashion, style, and lifestyle content on the channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're gonna be notified whenever I drop a new video. And be sure to set them to all so you will get all of my notifications. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram for any fashion and style inspiration. More content's coming on the way, but that does it for this video. And I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace.